Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to copy files from Windows to a remote server and vice versa from a remote server to Windows. And we're gonna be doing this with a program, a free open source program called Putty Secure Copy or PSCP for short. So if that's something you're interested in learning how to do, let's get on into the tutorial. Okay, so I have this IP address, which is what we're gonna be working with. This is our remote server. Uh, but first we need that software that I'm talking about. So let's go to Google. And actually you can Google PSCP and this is the link that we wanna um, go to eventually. But I think a safer way to do this is just go directly to putty.org. And although it says you're gonna download putty here, this has a link to all the applications that you can possibly want. Um, the one we want is pscp.exe down here. SCP, uh, if you didn't catch on yet, is just secure copy, an acronym for secure copy. Um, my computer is a 64-bit operating system, so I'm gonna download this file right here. This is a standalone file, so you can run it from anywhere on your computer. What I'm gonna do is just drag this to the side and copy that onto my desktop right next to PuTTY, which I um, I demoed how to use that on Windows in another video, which I will link up above here. Okay, so this one is different from PuTTY. Okay, PuTTY you can open and it's a user interface, but this one is a command line application. So we're gonna have to open command prompt here. So type in CMD into your search bar and open up command prompt. And what we wanna do is, um, Actually, we want to navigate from our current directory right here to our desktop. So we can do that with CD for change the directory and then desktop. So now we are on our desktop. And if we do a dir, it's going to show us everything that exists on our desktop. So we have this demo file, which we're going to be working with. We have PSCP, which we just downloaded. We have putty. You can see those guys right here. Okay. So how do we transfer this demo file from our desktop to this remote IP address. We can do that with one single command. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So let's type it. It's gonna be PSCP for the command. Okay, that is our program that we're gonna be working with. We're gonna invoke that program. Space dash capital P for port. We wanna specify what port we wanna send it over. And by default, it should be 22 for like, you know, I can't put a number on it, but like 99% of the cases. Okay, so PSCP dash capital P port 22, and then we're gonna put the from file. So the file that we wanna send, and the file that we wanna send is demo dash file. And actually, see how I have demo dash FIL? I can hit tab on my keyboard, and it's gonna complete that for me because that file exists on our desktop. Okay, so from file after from file we do the destination file and this is where we're going to um, specify the ip address that we want to send it to so we have to do that with a username and then the ip address so we're going to say our username over here root at that ip address so i'm going to copy the ip address and i'm going to right click up here edit and paste it in and now we're going to hit colon to since we're done typing the IP address and then slash root. Now, how do I know it's gonna go into slash root? Well, let me show you. I'm, I have putty open here. I'm gonna go log into that same exact server. And what I'm gonna do is copy the password and shift insert, enter it in so I can log into that server. And I'm gonna show you PWD print working directory. This is um, the directory that we want it to show up into. So. Let's do an LS in here. That's just showing you what's existing in this directory at this moment. There's nothing in there. Um, so this is where we want it to end up in the root directory on this IP address using this username. So go ahead and hit enter. It's gonna ask us for the password. Um, I have it on my clipboard already, but we can copy it again and we can come up here, right click, edit, paste, or you can type it on the keyboard if you know your password, hit enter. And that's gonna begin copying that file up. We're already at 50%, 67%. And when that's on 100%, we'll come back over here to PuTTY to make sure it actually copied up there. And let's check it out. We can do an LS again. And now we see our demo file on our remote server. So it's that easy. It's just one command, like I said. Um, that's pretty cool, right? But let's try it the other way. Let's try to copy a file from the remote server 
onto our Windows computer. We can do that too. Um, we're going to still initiate it through our Windows computer, uh, but let's first let's first make a file. So I'm just going to do um, I'm going to say hello world, and I'm going to put that in a file called uh, uh, a file a file.txt. Okay, so now we have two files in this directory. We have a file and demo file. What we want to do is copy a file to our Windows computer. So let's um, let's copy that password one more time. We're going to need it. We'll just minimize this. So we have a, a big canvas to work with here. And what we're going to do is something very similar. We're going to type in PSCP, okay, dash capital P, port 22. Now remember, it's from file to file. So from, we're going from the remote IP address. So let's pretty much use this as an example. So we're going to type root at 45.32.218.126 colon. Now we're going to give it the full path to the file that we want, slash root, slash a dash file dot text. Okay, so that's our from file. We're going to put next our to file, so space. Now here you can either put a dot to say where we currently are in the desktop folder, but I like to be explicit sometimes and type in the name of the file that I wanted to end up in. So I'm just gonna type again, a-file.txt. Now, pay attention here, up in the upper right or upper left-hand corner, you're gonna see that file appear when it's done copying. So I'm gonna hit enter, start the, start the copy. Oops, hit enter. And, oh, I forgot, we have to type in the password. So I'm gonna right click, keep it, keep your eye, keep your eye up in the upper, upper left-hand corner, paste the password, hit enter. Oops, let's try it again. Uh, let me copy the password, bear with me here. I might have got lost it. So edit, paste, hit enter. There it is. So what do we type? We type in hello world, this should just be a text file with hello world, there it is. Guys, if you have any questions about copying files between your Windows computer and a remote server or vice versa from a remote server to your Windows computer using PSCP, let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to help you out. If you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing to this channel. I got all different things. I got that putty video that you guys, if you haven't seen that yet, you should definitely check out. Um, plenty more where that's coming from. And if you do consider subscribing to my channel and if you do subscribe, I will see you in the next video.